Welcome to Gangstars Academy. My name is Nikosh, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over the Fortnite hub, choosing landing spots, diving, and finally, basic looting. So the first part of the Fortnite hub is in fact the lobby section. Now this is where you guys can find all your missions on the left side as you can see, explosive weapon eliminations for XP, and some of these are also for Battle Pass Stars. This is where you can also choose your game mode. So right now my game mode is on Team Rumble, but there's Ice Storm Solos, Duos, and Squads, as well as Playground in a creative mode, um, and Normal Squads. So you can choose your different game modes, and whenever there's like a pop-up cup or you know something for a like some sort of event going on you can always choose this as another game mode as well and just whatever game mode you feel like playing just click on it and hit accept and that's the game modes the next part is the battle pass section this is where you have access to buying the battle pass which is basically the more you play the game the more you level up and the more cosmetic items you receive which is something kind of cool to keep the players motivated the next tab is the challenges tab now this is where you find all your missions for throughout the season to level up your battle pass uh, tiers and stars for like all the battle pass tiers you just got to get a certain amount and then you complete the challenge but right now i only have one challenge completed because i really haven't had time to go out and you know and just complete all the challenges because i tend to just play the game for fun and scrim a lot so the next tab is the events tab this tab is actually really cool because there's a lot of events for players to participate in. For example, today there's an Explorer pop-up cup starting in six hours um, for solos. And recently, Epic's been taking high scores from these and letting people into invite-only tournaments. So if you're interested, there's some really cool stuff that you can check out in the events tab, which can help you get started in a professional career if you if you're into that kind of thing. The next tab is the locker room. This is where all of your cosmetics items belong. So you can just choose whichever outfit that you want to use. Say I want to use this red nosed ranger outfit. Um, really cool skin. And I just click on it and then boom, save. And now I can go into the game playing as the red nosed ranger. Um, same thing works for all the pickaxes and the gliders, all that sort of stuff. And you know, it's such a cool it's a cool tab if you have a lot of skins if you don't don't worry about it but you know if you ever do buy skins now you know where to go to access them the next tab is the item shop this tab is where you can buy skins uh, or cosmetic items dances pickaxes gliders whatever you choose that you want to buy and you know these change daily so if you want to get something it might not come back for a little bit but don't worry it's going to come back um, so yeah, this is a really cool tab where you can buy all your cosmetic items to enjoy the game more The next section is the career tab. This is where you can access all of your statistics uh, wins wise and For like all the game modes as well duo and squad wins and how much like see how much you place top Three or top ten something like that for all your different game modes and to see how many kills you have the next tab and the final tab is the store. Um, this is where you can buy the V-Bucks to purchase cosmetic items. And it's pretty cool if you guys are interested in buying skins. Um, but yeah, that's basically the Fortnite hub. So next, I'll be showing you guys some cool in-game stuff. So next we have the diving, how to dive, as well as the choosing the best drop spots. Um, so as you guys can see, the first thing you want to do is open up your map keybind, and this gives you the battle pass path. So right here we're going from the block to frosty flights. So if you want to drop somewhere really, really where, where you're going to fight a lot of people, um, always choose tilted or retail, because as you can see, these are like pretty big spots, so we're sort of in the middle of the map. But if you're trying to drop somewhere, you know, somewhere discreet where you don't have to take many fights where you can get, get loot, tend to choose some like off the map locations without any names. Like this place I call Chair, I call these factories, I call this Westworld gas station, and even Lucky Landing. Somewhere at the edge of the map, like Lucky, is a pretty good place to land as well if you're not looking to take any fights. So, say I'm going to drop Lucky. As you guys can see, it's not too far. 
and I did have a late drop where I dropped around right here. So this is generally a pretty good distance to drop from your location because um, as you will see, basically what you want to do is you want to hit the maximum glider redeploy at that around around this area right here and then you'll be able to just glide right into lucky landing pretty easily without you know staying up in the air for so long because a lot of people struggle to get a really good glide into a drop zone to get the guns first but once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy to like, know the distance that you have to drop for every single location and just as I predicted there's nobody at lucky landing so just have your fun time looting up and stuff so to loot it's pretty simple just organize your weapons in any sort of preference that you would like to so right now I have an AR minis and a grenade so as you guys can see I just found a shotgun as well and right here boom this is my perfect pre preferred way of holding an inventory I like my SMG in my first slot I like my shotgun in my second slot my AR in my third slot, some sort of second med meds or secondary med kit or more minis or big shields in this fourth slot. And if I have some sort of utility like a sniper, a rocket launcher, grenades, stinkers, anything like that, this would also go in my fourth slot. And my fifth slot is basically always designated for meds because you'll never see me without some sort of med uh, unless I just can't find any. So it's pretty easy to loot. What you do is you don't want to have your gun out when you see something. You just want to have your pickaxe out, so that way, if you accidentally press E on it, it doesn't pick up the gun. And you can just basically roll through everything without picking up anything. So, just make sure you have your pickaxe out, because it just filters out all the ammo for you, and it's just easy to not pick up the guns that way. Also, if you, like, if you aim at the gun like this, it's going to pick up the gun. But if you just want the ammo, you can just run across with your gun and look at the ammo and pick it up as well. Let's go up here for a second. Let's check out what this chest has for us. Okay, we got some stinkers. So, I do not want these grenades anymore because stinkers are blue. And a blue item is better than this common one. So, I'm going to drop this by just dragging it out of my inventory just like that. And pressing E to pick up the stink bombs. Let's go ahead and edit down here real quick. And so, right now, it seems like I have a pretty good inventory. But, wait a minute. Where are my mats? Materials are one of the most important things in this game to help you accomplish winning build fights and just getting to the end game, of course. And if without knowing how to build, you're definitely not going to know how to win a game and you're not going to feel that feeling of winning the game as well. So you have simple ways of building in this game. There's different keybinds for each one. As you guys can see, my keybinds are mouse 4 for my wall, Q for my floor, mouse 5 for my staircase and left shift for my pyramid and what you want to do to choose your keybinds is generally if you have a mouse with buttons on it you can do you can use buttons on your mouse to build or if you don't you can just use your keybinds on your keyboard and so for me I use two on my mouse two on my keyboard so the two on my mouse once again are my wall and my stair and then the ones on my keyboard are my my left uh, my Q and then my left shift pyramid and for me, these keybinds are really comfortable because I can build pretty easily, and I think it's really nice. So now that we have building now, another big thing is editing, obviously. So you want to have an edit key that's really easily accessible to you. For example, right now, mine is at F, which is right next to my D button. So whenever I want to edit, I can just hit F real quick, and then the way to edit stairs is obviously a drag so you can do that easily and just drag the way down and right now I'm simply just editing myself down to the ground and uh, yeah so that's about gonna wrap it up for this tutorial guys if you did enjoy make sure you guys uh, drop a like and sub for more Gangstar Academy videos and if you guys want to go ahead and check me out on the stream I'd really appreciate it my twitch is going to be in the description as well as my supporter creator code but that's all it is for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. And I'll see you later. Peace.